name is Vanessa Ferguson. I'm a singer out of Greensboro, North Carolina, international performing artist. Some people may know me from season 12 of NBC's The Voice. And today I'm here to perform at Nina Simone's house. For me to walk through her home today, to see where she was born, where she lived, it's hard to describe the feeling. Honestly, this is someone that I've studied, someone I've admired uh, for a very long time because of her, her talent and her, her activism. This is a very small town for her to dive into music. I think they said she, she rehearsed for eight hours a day. I can kind of understand it being here, but to see where she lived and to see where she went, you know, all the different things she was able to do and just being born right here in such a small place where I guess you could say no one's really checking for you. That's pretty tremendous. It resonates with me and you know, that you can come from two bedroom or one bedroom house and, and go on to do some amazing things. So it's really inspiring to be here. I love you. Thank you. 
loves you, Pocky. Don't let him take me. Don't let him handle me and drive me mad. If you can keep me, I want to stay here with you forever. Cause I Nina Simone, to me, is, um, mm, besides being the face of a strong, Black, gifted, and talented uh, performing artist, she's, she was an activist. Um, she was someone who, you know, she once de uh, defined freedom what was freedom to her and freedom to her was no fear. And to me, I don't know how she saw herself, but to me, she was a very fearless woman. And so, um, you know, it means a, a lot to me. Nina Simone believed in that you should uh, sort of use your art to say something or reflect the times. I think it's important to use art to connect people to history uh, because I mean, mostly everybody has an appreciation for some form of art. And uh, Nina Simone was one of those people that would um, use her her platform and her art to sort of cause people to to think, provoke thought. Uh, she would talk about the things that were going on, right? And so it's it's sort of a good segue to get people to pay attention to certain things, or to learn certain things, or to think about certain things. Uh, so I definitely uh, deem it you know, very important to sort of merge the two, to create some change. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, yeah. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Ooh. And I'm feeling good. Fish in the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on the tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling Fly out in the sun, you know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies are having fun, you know what I mean? Sleep in peace when day is done, that's what I mean. In this old world, there's a new world and a bold world for me.
I was born in, in Brooklyn, New York, but I lived in Greensboro for over 20 years now. This is where I basically cut my teeth. The community here in North Carolina specifically um, is one that's just, I mean, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it's my family. Um, and, uh, you know, when you, when you sort of been through the hardest of hard times and the trenches with people, you sort of create a bond and, uh, you know, a bond that, that can't, can't be broken. Um, but I, I appreciate everything that I've learned on my journey here, um, in, in Greensboro. And, and it's definitely what has, um, prepared me for everything else that, that I've been able to do. skin is black My arms are long My hair is woolly My back is strong Strong enough to take the pain Inflicted again and again what do they call me? My name ain't Sarah. My name ain't
For me, singing is like my peace of mind, where I'm, I'm the happiest. I don't know, it's a feeling that I can't really describe. I guess it's, yeah, it's hard to describe that feeling. Um, it's definitely one that I can't really get enough of, that feeling of, of singing. And it, it doesn't ha have to be on a stage or anything. Um, but this is something that I believe God has given me to not only help others, but myself, um, you know, to, to get through or to experience some joy. You know, I, I feel like music is one of those things that comes directly from heaven. And um, it's, it's sort of a little piece that we can get while we're, we're all down here.
Because 